plate. And a swing and a base hit. Guerrero in to score. Chapman on his way home. And the Blue Jays win it. Hello everyone and welcome back to Job MLB Vlogs. And in today's video is the post-game reaction reveal from the Blue Jays game we went to back on September 10, 2024 against the New York Mets. But before you guys just want to watch you guys to please leave a like on the subscribe channel if you're new. Hit notifications there, comments down below if you guys like thoughts game went to. If you guys are at the game, any other thoughts if you guys have a general on this post-game reaction reveal, feel free to leave a comment section below. I'd like to hear you guys on Alright guys, let's just jump right to it. So before I get into this video today for you guys, just want to apologize. We're getting this video out a little bit later than usual, guys. I had a busy week, the last week before I posted this video. And I'm posting this on Monday, September 16th, by the way, while I'm recording this on the 16th. And also, if you guys remember, two years ago, I went to that 6-3 win against the Orioles. And yeah, that, that was a good game. Two years ago today. Do you believe that, guys? Wow. Two years since that happened, but yeah, that was a good game. 6-3 win. And yeah, that was before the Orioles became good. That was literally just the year before they became good. And, you know, we all know how it is playing Baltimore nowadays. But, you know, that was good. I just thought I'd throw that in there. But, yeah, I do apologize for getting this video almost out. Well, pretty much out a full week later since I've been to the game. Because you guys should be seeing this probably on Tuesday, the 17th, when we're going to be in Texas. So, yeah, playing the Raiders tomorrow. And I also want to mention one more thing before we get to this video. Because I just read this right now. This just happened like an hour ago. We got Tyler Heineman back. Third stint with the Blue Jays for Tyler Heineman. That's crazy. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, wow, he's actually back? That is wow. He was just on Boston, Boston Red Sox. I think we claimed him off waivers. So that was good. I mean, well, I mean, I mean he's okay, right? I mean, he's just, at this point, we're at the end of the season. You know, we're getting close to the end. And, you know, it is what it is. I mean, teams teams been getting better, though. I mean, they did just sweep the Cardinals. I'm going to admit it. They did a good job in that series. They, I mean, they did okay against the Mets. You guys know how this game went, but we'll get to that in a moment. But... Yeah, I just swept the Cardinals, a couple of David Schneider home runs. Great for him, honestly. You know what? I got to give Schneider a lot of credit right now in this video because, you know what? Good job, David Schneider. He's finally hitting it out again. So, you know, two homers in two games. Is he back? I mean, we'll see. He's probably making that necessary adjustment now. It seems like finally he might have found it. So, I had to give Schneider some credit in this video. So, I got to tip the cat to him. But, anyways, guys, without further ado, I'm sorry for that long intro. But, anyways, let's get into it, guys. So... Yeah, overall thoughts and feelings on this game, you know, it was a nice Tuesday night, weather was really good, you know, you know, kind of like, it's kind of beginning to mid-September at this point, we're kind of getting more mid to, mid to closer to like the 20s days in this month now, but, you know, pretty much middle of September, you know, it was good, it was a good night to go, nice Tuesday night, you know, sun was shining, clouds were pretty much clear skies, yeah, it was a good night to go, roof was open, and yeah, it was pretty much open like this entire homestand as well, yeah, majority of the games, even that game, it was like close at the beginning on Monday and they opened it. But yeah, you know, had a roof open game was nice. My third open roof, nah, my third roof open game of the year. So that was good. So pretty much, yeah, three. So, I had, yeah, so out of the five home games, got three with the dome open, two with the roof closed. So it's not bad. That's pretty good. You know, first two were roof closed. You know, one was because of rain. And then the other day was just too cold to have it. It was a nice day. I will admit it. May 1st was a nice day, but just too cold. But yeah, nice night to go. It was Looney Dogs Night. My first ever Looney Dogs Night, guys. And that was cool, man. I mean, I'm going to say it. That was cool being there on a Louis Dogs night. I've never experienced it. And they also have, like, these signs. I noticed these signs and all the concourses saying, like, you can buy Looney Dogs at this concession site, which was, I, that was a really cool touch. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I never went, so I, I have no idea. So, seems like every Tuesday night they have those signs. They say, yeah, go get your $1 hot dogs here. So, that's good. And that was really cool. That was really cool. They even had, like... I guess it was like the cheerleaders or something. They were wearing like these hot dog, yeah, hot dog costumes or whatever. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I don't know. I mean, it's a little bonus point to know. Yeah, that was kind of cool as well. And I also did get a t-shirt, guys. I don't have it right now, but I actually did get a white Blue Jays t-shirt that they were going to toss to the crowd. So apparently my grandpa was talking to like one of the people there and they gave me a shirt. So that was nice of them. So thanks to them. Thanks for asking my grandpa who deserved the shirt because I knew I definitely did. So. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. I got that during the game. I was like, wow, that's cool. I, I was kind of, like, confused at first, but, yeah, it was kind of cool. But, yeah, you know, we were able to go through all three concourses as well, you know, for this game. So, that was cool. Saw the 100 level again. I haven't seen that concourse in a while, like, the last... Well, I haven't seen it since, like, August. So, it wasn't that long, but, you know. But, yeah, I saw the 100 concourse. Went to 200 level concourse, you know. Had some ice cream there as well. That was nice. Had some popcorn as well. 
So yeah, I had a couple snacks there as well. You know, I mean, I don't really recommend you guys spend too much money at Rogers Center, especially if it's something's like thirty bucks. Don't get it. I mean, I, you're better off just bring your own food to the game, guys. Just a tip from me. Just you know, especially with it being so expensive. So yeah, I just that's a little bit of a pro tip for me. But then you know, we went to the five hundred level, did the challenge as always. You guys know the routine, and we signed the five hundred level again, guys, for the second game in a row. Yes. I sat in the 500 level, man. It's crazy. The last three games I've been in the upper deck, I've never even done it once until until the last three times I've been at games, including Wrigley Field in Chicago. But, yeah, last three games I've been in the upper deck. Uh, this time we were in five. I think it was 27. or Yeah, 527. It was down the first, uh, the third baseline. Yeah, third baseline. Yeah, third baseline, 527. Row two, so nice and close. And another great spot for pitches. And, you know, obviously, Chris Bassett started again. We all know how that goes with me. The Chris Bassett fiasco that I always have to deal with. But, I mean, it is what it is. He did good. He did get a 1,000 strikeouts, which is good. Nobody recognized it, which was kind of sad. And that seems like I was the only one who knew about it. But, unless he did it before, I don't know. Unless Google is just lying to me or something. But I swear, on Google, it did say 997. So, what, what can I say, guys? But... Oh, well, maybe it's just not as big of a milestone as, like, maybe getting, I don't know, your 10,000 career strikeout or maybe your 1,000 inning pitch, which I, which did happen. I did yeah, I did see that 1,000 career innings pitch against the Pirates, so that was nice at least. But no recognition, so that kind of, that was kind of sucky. But at least Vlad got his 500 career RBI on Saturday. I thought I mentioned that too. Congrats to Vladdy on that milestone, but... Yeah, you know, good stuff, you know, I mean, it was good. Bassett was actually pretty good in this game. He actually did way better in this game, so. I think he only gave up uh, one of the runs. I think he only gave one of the runs, so it's not bad. So just one earned run in the first, and, you know, that wasn't too bad of a game for him. You know, good job by Chris Bassett again. You know, I'm kind of getting sick of seeing him, but it's not really my fault. It's just, well, it's not his fault. It's not his fault. It's my fault, because my calculations are just wrong. I know. But it is what it is, guys. I mean, what, what do you guys say? The season's going to come to an end. There's like 15 games left. So, unless we somehow made a miracle run to make the playoffs, like it's done, but obviously. But, you know, we'll see. Hopefully, Jays can still do good for the rest of the year, obviously. You know, at least, you know, at least give us something to cheer about, guys. But, I mean, they did good against Cardinals, so I'll give them credit there. And, yeah, you know, I mean, it's been good stuff. Actually, you know, pretty good homestand. They only lost, you know, two of the games, both against the Mets. So, you know, they had a good homestand. Yeah, overall. Game was really good. Enjoyed the Looney Dogs. That was so cool. Seeing it for the first time. I also went to that spot on Schneider's porch to get like to see that do hot dogs. I, you know, I was like, you know what? It's a Tuesday night. We gotta go up to the Snyder's Porch. That was the first time I ever actually walked into the Snyder's Porch as well. So that was a pretty good view. We actually got a little view and got to see the hot dog. That was kind of cool. Yeah, it's like huge. It's like it was like a seesaw kind of thing. You know, like you know, like you got yeah, but you have to put two people on it, and then you gotta go up and down. You know, I see it on the TV all the time. So I'm like, you know what? It's it, it's Louis Dog's night. If I'm not gonna eat hot dogs, I at least gotta do this. And also for the hot dogs on the counter going during the game, that was so cool. Yeah, that was really cool, guys. I mean, I literally saw. I went up to 40k. Like there was 40,000. Uh, there was at least 41,000 hot dogs consumed. I think it was maybe like 42, if I were to guess. I think it was like 41. So that was about right. I was guessing like maybe 30,000, 40,000. So I was kind of right. So that's crazy. I didn't even have any. So that doesn't even include me or my grandpa because we both didn't eat it. Unless it just everybody else the same participated, we did it. Unless some people bought like 50 of them, which is insane. But yeah, that's a lot. But, you know, I mean, good for you guys. You guys, you know, if you guys like hot dogs, go on a Tuesday night. It's a cool experience. I definitely recommend it. If you guys are Jays fans, you guys like baseball, or if you even, out, even if you're from the U.S., you know, come up here. If you guys like dollar hot dogs, come on Tuesday nights. Come on Blue Jays Tuesday nights, you know. If you just like baseball in general, if you're just a baseball fan from out of the country, or if you're a Blue Jays fan, go. If you like hot dogs, go to the games on Tuesday. You're going to like it, but... Fun game. You know, I enjoyed it. You know, it was a good game overall. Overall, I had fun. It was a great night to go. Bears, guys, all for ado. Let's get to the scoring real quick. And yeah, I'm going to try not to make this too long. But the Blue Jays ended up taking the win in this game for my third straight win in a row with the Jays in pretty much the whole season. It's probably my biggest winning streak I had in a while, guys. Three in a row, guys, for me. The final score is Toronto Blue Jays 6 and the New York Mets 2. And we beat the living crap out of David Peterson, guys. Couldn't believe that. That was crazy. We knocked him out of the game. I think it was just like the third or fourth inning, something like that. It was like, it was really early on. So that was a good game. I mean, it was great. You know, offense was good this game. You know, overall six runs, 
that's pretty good. Also broke my drought of one run games, so that's finally done. So finally broke that streak. And also finally the first time I've seen the Jays score more than five runs in a game. So that's awesome. First time I've seen them score six this year, so that's great. You know, a couple, you know, key milestones there. So it was a good night. I enjoyed it. It was a fun game. And yeah, overall I enjoyed it. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna uh, it might get a little bright because I got to get my tablet going so we can get to the plays. And yeah, I, you guys remember I used to do the paper, but my handwriting is messed up. So we're not going to bother doing that anymore. So if it's a little bright, I apologize. So let's get to the top of the first inning. And this means, obviously, the scoring drought continues. I still can't seem to see the Jays score first in a game other than the Wrigley Field game where we won 1-0, of course. Anyways, let's get into it. Brandon Nimble would hit a single... Line drive, Francisco Lindor came in to score, making a one nothing game uh, early on. So, Nemo, a guy we were maybe going to get in free agency a couple years ago, now does that. So, that's great. It was cool seeing Pete Alonso, though. It was cool to see Pete Alonso. I'm just going to say, guys, right now, it was cool to see the Mets for the first time. My first New York team, obviously, can't forget about that. So, it was cool to see Nemo, you know, cool to see Lindor. You know, I could see, you know, I mean, even like Pete Alonso. I'm surprised at Glacius pitch hit. I, I don't know why they wouldn't start him in the lineup. That doesn't make any sense. But yeah, that's kind of weird how they pitch hit at Glacius later. I didn't even notice until he came into the game. I'm like, oh, yeah, Glacius wasn't in the lineup. But yeah, you know, Brand Lino, uh, Brand Nimmo. <laughs> I'm thinking about Little now. Brand Nimmo singled. Uh, one nothing Mets. Uh, all right, so moving on to the bottom of the second inning. The Blue Jays would have a response for the Mets. Leo Jimenez would single. Clement would score. Tie game at one. And Horwitz, uh, I guess, was on base two. So I guess he went up to second. So, yeah, nice single for Leo Jimenez. You know, Leo Jimenez contributed again at a game. I already see him hit a home run in Chicago earlier. So, see him hit a single here, making it a 1 1 tie. So, good stuff for Jimenez. Move on to the bottom of third. This is where we would really slug now. Alejandro Kirk would hit a double. Uh, Don Varsha would end up, to, yeah, end up scoring on the play. 2-1 Toronto, just like that. In the third inning, 2-1 Jays. It was good. I mean, that was great. Do you know, Kirk, you know, he got the walk-off hit on Friday as well. So, you know, it's good to see him uh, contribute in that game as well, you know, with that with that nice double. And, yeah, good. we got a 2-1 game. First lead of the game for Toronto. But then we wouldn't be done yet. Still in the bottom of the third inning. David Schneider, the first hit to get it going. We basically saw the first hit to lead off, like, his comeback. David Schneider would get a huge hit, a, a monster hit, and it looked like it was maybe going to go out for a second, but it was just short. If it had a little more distance, it could have definitely went out, guys. That would have been his first home run. It almost happened, but it went all the way to the wall. It was really deep. Went all the way to center field because it says Brandon Nimmo got it. So center field. Kirk scored. Clement scored. And make it 4-1 to Toronto, just like that. 2-1 to 4-1. Schneider went to third. Fans went crazy. I went crazy, too. That was awesome. So good job for David Schneider, you know. Finally, uh, that was probably his first big base hit in a while with an RBI. So, you know, it was at least cool to see that. Would have been nice to see his first home run in a while. But I'll be honest, I will settle for a triple because it scored two runs. And, you know, give the Jays a three-run cushion now in the bottom half of the third, but we won't even be done yet in the third. We still got one more play. Joey Loperfino, as you guys know, been really good luck with this guy recently. You know, uh, he would single, and then uh, Schneider would come in to score. Five one Toronto, and it's just it's looking good. I mean, on uh, David Pearson, we get five runs, no homers, but we got five runs. You know, a few base hits. So yeah, the hits were coming together. So that was that was good. So. Now make it a 5-1 game. And then we wouldn't have any scoring for a while. Then it would stay 5-1. Pretty much score would hold up until the top of the seventh. Then a pass, a pass ball by catcher Alejandro Kirk. And then Iglesias ended up scoring on that play. I think I thought, yeah, that was kind of a weird play. So Kirk, I guess, messed it up. And then made it a 5-2 game for Toronto. So here's what it is. But we're not done yet. We got one more run. And it would come in the bottom of the seventh. Spencer Horwitz. We get a nice double, and yeah, Ernie Clement would score again. Yeah, I think that was his third time scoring this game, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look. He scored on that Schneider play, and then did he score on that first play? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, so Clement came in to score three times. Three of those runs that came in were Clement, so that's pretty cool. 
And yeah, 6-2 Toronto, that was the game. You know, Buffalo boys were contributing, all three of them. So we'll give them credit. I think I think even Clement had a base hit as well in this game, if I'm not mistaken. Just didn't say because it's not a scoring play. But that was good. You know, all three of the roommates in the beginning of the season during spring training. You know, that was a cool story, you know. I definitely watched that video a few times. I liked that video. But yeah, all three of them contributing this one. So again, we'll give all three of them credit. And good job from them. You know, those guys... They've been good. And, you know, Schneider's been struggling, but he's back. You know, I think he's starting to get it now. I think he's starting to get it back now, which is good stuff, you know. Maybe this stretch may actually help Schneider get a spot next year, and I'm happy for the guy. You know, I seriously am. I'm happy. You know, I didn't think this was actually going to happen, man. I, I, I was actually, like, would have been surprised if he did it, but now he's doing good. Seems like Schneider's maybe returning to 2023 form. I mean, you never know. It could happen any time, you know. And I was maybe say I was saying this during the game, he should get rid of the beard, but... Seems like he still has the beard and he's hitting now, so I, it's just an adjustment. All you need to do is adjustment, so. You know, I gotta, one more time, I gotta give David Schneider a ton of credit. So congratulations, David Schneider, from getting your adjustments. Keep it going, man. Please keep it going because it's great. This will definitely help for maybe next year, so. Obviously, if the team wants to keep you, so. We'll see what they do. I mean, hopefully he'll stay. Hopefully he can uh, keep going because I really like David Schneider, so. Hoping he'll continue the hitting for himself. And, yeah, just hoping for good stuff, you know. We'll see how the Jays do. Six games under 500. They still have a chance to get to 500. I don't know if they're eliminated from the playoffs yet, guys. I really actually don't know. But whatever it is, it is. You know, one game at a time at this point. Playoffs or no playoffs, I'll still be here regardless. So, yeah, you know, you know good luck to the team for the rest of the season. You know, it was a good game. 6-2 win in this one, so... Hoping they can continue winning. You know, at this point, we just got to, you know, even if the season hasn't gone well, still got to find a little bit of positives, you know, for the rest of the way. But, anyways, guys, going to wrap this video up, guys. I'm not going to make this too much longer for you guys. So, that's going to do it, guys. So, you guys, enjoy this one. I want you guys to please leave a like on this video. If you do, hit notifications and leave your comments down below. If you guys have any thoughts, this game went to. If you guys are at the game, any thoughts or feelings, guys, in general, on the post-game reaction, anything you guys liked from the game or didn't like, you know, anything you guys want to say in general in the game, Leave in the comments section below. Link to you guys on there. And that's going to do it, guys. Have a great day, guys. And I will see you guys next time. Good luck to the Jays for the rest of the season. I'm just going to say this now. So I can just do one piece of them. But, yeah. But, yeah, you know. Good luck to the team for the rest of the year. Whatever happens, happens. You know, welcome back to Tyler Heineman. Just want to say my welcome back to Tyler Heineman. For third stint, he was here in 2022 as well. And I, he did the same thing with the Pirates as well. He's like, with the Pirates and the Jays with both years. 22 and 23. So, and now he's, yeah, now the combination's Boston and Toronto. So, welcome back for the third time, Tyler Heineman to the team. We'll see if he can, uh, you know, we'll see what he does. We'll see how he can contribute to the team. And, yeah, we'll see what happens for a third stint. But, anyways, guys, it's going to do it, guys. So, have a great day, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. So, let's go, Blue Jays. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.